What's up guys, it's Wesley and today I have an informative video for you guys on how to improve your bowling game. Today, we're going to make use of Avalon pads and show you how it can improve your score when bowling in tournament competition. One of the things that not a lot of people know about is this unknown surface that we bowl on. The oil that they put on the lanes can make it difficult on any playing field for any bowler to bowl on. And one of the things that we don't know that we can do is that we can manipulate the surface of our bowling ball to change the reaction of how it rolls down the lane. So we can put more surface on this bowling ball to make it hook earlier. We can put less surface to make it go a little longer. We can smooth out the reaction. There are so many different things that we can do in order to have good ball reaction. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to educate you guys on how to use Avalon pads, the different surfaces, and what they can do for your bowling game. I have six Avalon pads here from the range of 360 grit to 4,000. I'm gonna demonstrate the differences each pad makes on this bowling ball right here. All right, I have my control ball right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find the pocket. Once I find the pocket, I'm gonna stand in the same spot and try to throw it at the same target down the lane. The good thing about this ball right now is that it's lane shine. There's not too much surface on the ball. There's no polish, there's nothing. I'm gonna start at 4,000 grit and then I'm gonna work my way down to 360 and again I'm gonna stand in the same spot try to hit the same target and give you guys the reaction of how this ball rolls due to the surface All right, I like that actually. I stood 25, at the arrows I hit 17, so that's gonna be my control. I'm using that ball with the lane shine, 25 to 17, it got me to the pocket. So now I'm gonna use some surface and we're gonna see what happens next. So I got my fresh 4,000 pad, it's gonna put a little bit of surface on the bowling ball. Typically, whenever I use a 4,000 pad, it's to knock the shine off of a shiny pearl bowling ball or a shiny hybrid bowling ball, just so it can smooth out the reaction a little better. But in this case, also because of the lane shine, I'm adding a little bit of surface to the ball to get it to hopefully pick up a little sooner. With a 4,000 pad though, they don't really pick up that much sooner or that drastically. As we can see, the 4,000 knocked the lane shine off of the ball, so let's see what happens. All right, so maybe I threw it really good. But the 4,000 actually made a little bit of a difference if you looked at the ball motion compared to the one that was lane shot. It picked up a little bit sooner, which I kind of expected. So now I'm gonna use a 3,000 pad. Usually when I use it, it's on a lower volume pattern that I still need my ball to pick up in the mid lane a little better. What I think we're gonna see is it's gonna pick up just slightly sooner than the 4,000 pad because it's got, again, a little more teeth with the surface. It's not gonna be too drastic of a reaction. All right, this is what a 3,000 pad looks like. It's got a little more teeth on the bowling ball just to hit more surface so let's go throw this ball and let's see what a difference it makes all right so I don't know about you guys but I saw it when the ball hit the lane it actually started picking up a little sooner in the front part of the lane which again that's the purpose of the Avalon pad but with that 3,000 to 4,000 the difference is my ball picked up a little sooner and it drove into the pocket a little better instead of being lazy down lane like the 4,000 pad so the 2,000 pad and 1,000 pads are my favorite I typically use a 2,000 pad on medium patterns, longer patterns, so I don't have too much surface to overkill the ball, but I have enough surface that the ball can still pick up in the mid lane where I want it. Especially when I'm a speed dominant player, which a thousand pad's my favorite because of that. All right, so this is what the 2000 pad looks like. I hit it pretty hard. There's a little more teeth in this ball. You can already tell it's a lot duller than when I started. I'm expecting this ball to probably 247 if I throw a pretty good shot because it's gonna hook a little too soon. Wow, all right, it didn't 247, so I lie to you guys. But what it did do is that the ball did roll a little early and it rolled out and it left the plaque seven pin. Well, kind of half seven, plaque seven, but that's what the ball did because there was too much surface. I'm gonna throw another shot and we're gonna see what happens. It's either gonna plaque seven again, I'm gonna six pin, or I'm gonna 247 because of the surface on the bowling ball. I guess I lied to you guys again, it went 10 back. So actually, that 2000 surface might be ideal for what I'm bowling on right now. But as you can see, there was a different reaction. It picked up a little sooner than the other ball. All right, so now we got the 1000 pad. This is personally my favorite Avalon pad, especially when there's a lot of oil in the front part of the lane and I need my ball to slow down earlier rather than later. There's gonna be a lot more grit on this bowling ball. You can already see it's much duller. And another time I use this is actually on like a short pattern, anything 37 or below, and I use urethane because I get the ball to start up sooner and then it starts to roll out which controls the pocket 
block it much better, especially on those shorter patterns when there's 24 feet of friction. So we just put a thousand grit on this bowling ball. As you can see, it's a little duller, and by a little, it's a lot duller. And I'm gonna go throw it right now. Usually on a pattern like this, whatever we're bowling on, I don't use a thousand grit. It's a little too much surface. I don't think my ball is gonna clear the fronts very well. Missed that one a little left, but you can see the ball was already hooking really early. I six pin. I don't think the ball got far enough down the lane in order to have good ball reaction. Let's throw another one. Let's see what happens with this 1000 grit surface. That's the one I was expecting. You can see the ball didn't get far enough down the lane. I thought I threw it good. You know, at 20 feet, the ball is already starting to change direction, and that's because there's too much surface on the bowling ball. So let's try a 500 grit, which is going to be even more overkill, and try to attempt the same thing. For myself, I rarely use a 500 pad. Again, the times I would probably use it is when I'm using a urethane bowling ball, and I really need the ball to pick up soon, or I need strong asymmetrical ball to pick up sooner and kind of roll out. I just think it's sometimes it's too much surface and your ball doesn't clear the front part of the lanes enough. All right, so we got our 500 grit surface. It's a snowball. I can't imagine what 360 is gonna look like. I don't think I'm gonna get it past 20 feet before it tries to hook. Probably gonna get like the 36 in the face. I lied again. It hit the 610 in the face. I could barely hold the ball because of the surface. I should have probably wiped it down. But as you guys can tell, the ball already started picking up as soon as it touched the lane because it had so much surface on the ball. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try to throw it harder into the left and see if it makes any difference on my ball reaction. It didn't even try to go left. I know I didn't tug it right. I forced it left, I threw it hard, and it already started hooking early. But 500 grit's actually useful in a time like this. Low volume fronts, not very useful. But in the future, whenever you're bowling on a pattern, either higher volume, longer pattern, you can always use more surface. All right, a 360 pad. I rarely use it. The times I use it is when I really need the ball to slow down in the front part of the lane. I wanna break down the pattern to the left of me, or I just need the ball to actually pick up that much sooner. This ball's already a snowball, and I've only barely put some surface on it. I don't even think this ball is going to stay on the lane. I think I took off a millimeter of the bowling ball with this. All right, so this is what 360 looks like. Like I said, I rarely use it. Pattern like this, no need for it. I don't even think I have a chance to keep it on the lane. I can't even hold it. I don't think it's got a chance. I got the 10 pin. It stayed on the lane. That's all that matters. Let me try something different. I told you guys I was going to stand in the same spot. I'm going to stand in a different spot. I'm going to try to throw it harder, play it a little straighter, and see if I can make the ball roll out into the pocket. All right. I don't even think that's ball reaction anymore, and I don't think that ball has a chance at even touching the one-two pocket. That's it for me. I'm glad I could demonstrate that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a lot about surfaces and Avalon pads and what difference it makes on the bowling ball. I just want to say again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you liked me and you want to see other videos like this, hit the subscribe button to check out more content. And if you don't mind, comment down below how this could have helped you, or if this does help you and you watch this a little later, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you another time.